Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah and today I am thrilled to be sharing with you another Project Pan update video. Did you think you were ever gonna see one of these again? Um, I had mentioned a little while back that I hadn't been doing project panning because um, I had some issues going on with my face. I wasn't wearing any makeup for a good three to four months, um, but hopefully, I realize I'm wearing a baseball cap, but um, hopefully, as you can see, I am almost fully healed. I am just absolutely delighted to be sitting down and talking to you today because I have my long awaited, by me anyways, update for the Throwback 30 Project Pan. This was created by Jessica Lee in um, Fantastic Ladies. I adore Jessica and Amanda and all of those girls. Jessica did so much work looking for the prompts for these different um, projects and I've got some empties. I have some progress and I'm excited to show you both. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so for starters, I can't remember if I showed you this combo or not that I had finished, um, but I think I did, but I can't remember, but it was kind of a big deal for me to finish it off. So this is the Too Faced Lip Injection in Milkshake. This was a gloss that I used over the Sephora liner in Nothing But Nude, and I really did like this combo, but like I said, I have finished those off. I do not need to repurchase those anytime soon because I have a million lip products to go through. Next, I finished off this Tarte Heart Guard 30. So this was just a little sample, obviously, of a um, of a sunscreen. So I just used that on my face. It probably took me maybe 10 days to go through that one. Um, I certainly enjoyed it, but again, not something I'm looking to purchase right away. Next, I have three eye products. Two of them look like they have been finished off and one of them looks like it has not. So I finished off the Double Decker Lashes by Butter London and I also finished up the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Liner. This one I am considering done as well. It's the Beauty Basics Eye Crayon in Sahara Gold. And the reason I'm showing you all three of these together is because when my face was whatever it was, broken out, injured, there was, you know, all that stuff going on with it. Um, I did get infected around my eye area and my dermatologist recommended that I go ahead and toss all of these. The Double Decker Mascara was nearly finished anyways. Um, the Makeup Forever liner was nearly finished anyways. And this Beauty Basics crayon I wasn't totally enjoying anyways. So no real losses here. Um, but that's why I did want to show them to you all together. I do have two additional empties that I don't have here with me to show you, and those are actually the two culprits of this whole ordeal. So when uh, I when I started to use the Kula sunscreen, um, it was in a white tea fragrance. Um, I put that on my face, and then um, I wore that all day. And my husband came home and he was like, I think you're having an allergic reaction. Well, I didn't realize it at the time, but the very next day, the dermatologist said she thought that was what I was having the reaction to. Well, in the meantime, I tried to fix, um, I, I tried to fix the situation. So I washed my face and I put on the Laneige water sleeping mask. And when I woke up the next morning, my face was literally swollen like a balloon. One of my eyes was swollen shut. The other one was like really, really puffy. It was horrifying. Um, so it was one or two or the combination of those two items, both of which were in this project, um, that caused me to have that reaction. So I immediately stopped using those. They're actually, they've been trashed. They're no longer even here in my home. Um, so I am counting those amongst my empties because I attempted to use them and they just don't have any place in my home. 
All right, next, just for kicks, let's go through a couple of products that are in this project that I have not had an opportunity to use. So the first one is this Thrive Cosmetics. This is called the Brilliant Eye Brightener. It's supposed to be for um, like your, your brow bone highlight. Um, it is in the shade Stella. I had used this a couple of times as a face highlighter um, right at the beginning of the project and decided that that wasn't gonna do for me because I've got another face highlighter in this project. So this one is on hold for now. The next product that I just don't think about to use, this is the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. Obviously, it's a small bottle and I've got a lot of hair here, so when I use it, it won't take me a long time. Uh, I just need to remember to use it. Next, we have the Bite Beauty Lipstick in the shade Gaspacho. This is a gorgeous red, however, I have not been wearing a lot of red lipstick. Uh, namely, that is because since I haven't worn a lot of makeup, um, I feel like it would be funny for me to wear like a bold red lip. But I have been wearing makeup consistently for a couple of weeks now, and I really feel like, you know, I can get back into the bold lip game, so I'm super excited about that. The last product that does not have any progress, this is not gonna be a surprise to you guys. These are the Grace and Stella Anti-Wrinkle and Energizing Eye Masks. Obviously, as I said, the damage to my skin and my face were right here around my eyes and then right in the middle um, of my eyebrows. So clearly, I was not putting any additional products around my eyes. Now that I feel like I have mostly healed and recovered, I will attempt to use these, but I think there's eight in here, so we're gonna go slow. I'm gonna try one and give it several days and make sure I don't have any kind of a reaction before I try to use up the rest of the package. All right, guys, here we go. On to some progress. So first, I've got these two pencil eyeliners. This one is Urban Decay Perversion. And this was brand new at the beginning of the project. You can see, hopefully, if that will focus, um, you can see that I have used it some. I actually went looking for this when I came to film this update and I remembered that this is in my travel makeup bag. So I think I need to switch these two out and make a bigger point of using up the Urban Decay first. And that is because I do not care for this pencil. This is the IBY eye pencil in the color Navy Pearl. The color is fine, it is a nice navy, but this, uh, this pencil is so fine that it's like super frustrating trying to actually draw a line on my face. So maybe I'll swap these two out and I'll start using the Urban Decay Perversion as my everyday liner and I'll give it a break on the Navy Pearl for right now. All right, next we've got a couple of face products. The, ne the first one is the Cover FX Translucent Light Setting Powder and this one is hard to see but um, maybe if I show you that way, you can see that there is, uh, you can see through the package just a little bit there. Um, I, I had been consistently using this every day to set the concealer under my eyes. I have not been using it in the past few weeks since I started using makeup again, but um, I am going to start using this again very, very soon. Um, I did like it, I just, um, you know, just like all the others, I hadn't been using anything. Next we have the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. My original goal was to use this up. I don't know that that's going to happen, but I've got some beautiful pan on it so far. So um, I can't remember if I had any pan on it last time I showed you, but now you can see where this all slopes down right there and I have been using this one consistently, again, for the last few weeks. I really, really like this, I and I am surprised that even though I had not been using it for the last couple of months, it does still have that nice color pop texture to it. Next, we have the Studio Makeup Blush in the shade Sahara. My, um, my goal for this one was just to hit pan because I didn't think that I could use up this entire pan of blush 
um, even though I had a year to do it. I still have not hit pan, and I don't know if you can see, I'm hopeful that you can see uh, the beginnings of the rings showing through there. It definitely is getting worn down, um, but no pan to show you yet. This one, I'm telling you, this is just taking forever to show any progress. I do really like it though. It is what I'm wearing today. It's pretty much what I wear every day, um, you know, now that I'm wearing makeup again. Got two foundation products to show you. First, we have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And this one, you guys, this is ridiculous. See? I feel like this is maybe where this was last time. Um, it's, I literally can barely see. So this was the line from last update, and now it's just above that line. I'm not sure if you can even see the product. I can barely see the tiniest line of product when I look at this. Um, I just need to use it and be done with it, but I just haven't. Um, and that is because I have not yet used my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Um, this, I love this foundation, but it is one of those that like, is kind of, uh, it's it's got a nice texture, but it's like a soft matte texture to me. And because I already had dry flakiness on my skin, I didn't feel like I needed to add to it with this. So I have just been using my IT Cosmetics um, CC Cream and I have not used this at all. Now, um, I didn't mark this. I just realized that I shook it up a little bit as I was talking. Um, it was just below that bottom line right here. So this is where we started, and then uh, we're somewhere just below this line here. I should have marked it. I'm so sorry that I didn't, but um, I will hopefully remember and have all of these marked for you um, next time I bring you an update, which hopefully will be on time. Um, oh, don't let me forget. I've gotta give you all the details of this project at the end of the video. All right, let's go ahead and talk about these two lip products. So the first one is the Mary Kay Glossy Lip Oil in the shade Magenta Ray. This is another one that I had used off and on a little bit but hadn't really had any progress on. Um, this is probably going to get uh, decluttered at some point this year. I don't really care for it and it's not my color at all. So um, I'm gonna use it up as much as I can in this project when I think of it, but I have a feeling this one is uh, going to be leaving us this year. The next lip product that I have is this Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Now this one I love. Um, this is a really lovely product. Again, I don't have it marked, but I am right down here. So it was brand new. Those are my last couple of updates, and now we are just down here. So I would say if I'm if I'm consistent and if I really use this as much as I should, um, then I could probably finish this off in this project. Um, I definitely need to be using a lip buffer more frequently because it is winter and because my lips do get super, super dry, um, I find that I drink less water in the winter because I just get cold so easily. So that tends to dry out my skin and my lips and you know everything else. So um, if I use that as much as I should, I should be able to finish it off. Next, I want to show you these two skincare products. So the first one is the Tula Probiotic Skin Care, and this is the Purifying Face Cleanser. Now, when I showed it to you last, I was here. So this was a brand new bottle when we first started. I was here. Now it is right about here. And you might think, since I haven't updated in several months, I should be done with this. However, I have not been using this for the last probably since Thanksgiving. Um, when all of that happened with my skin, my dermatologist told me to immediately stop everything and I have only been using CeraVe. Um, I use a CeraVe cleanser and then I use a 
uh, vitamin C serum by CeraVe and also a daily moisturizer. Um, and the, the serum and the moisturizer really, I just kind of added those back in on my own simply because I was trying to like help the resurfacing and the, you know, the nourishment of my skin. Um, so I had not been using this. Now that I feel like my my skin is mostly healed, I may try to add this back in one or two times a week and see how my skin reacts to that. Um, if I am successful in that and if I don't have any kind of terrible reactions, I should be able to finish this um, I should be able to finish this cleanser by the end of the project. The other skincare item that we have is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. You guys know that I ranted and raved over this. I loved it. And obviously this too I had stopped using because I didn't really need a cleansing balm because there was no makeup to cleanse off of my face. So I have started to use this again in the last, I would say the last week. And check it out. I've hit pan. I literally have hit pan in the last week, probably the last four days. And I would say a good chunk of this is gone. So it's hard to tell on the sides, but it's like down to here. So it's a little more than halfway gone. Um, I still do really, really love this. Uh, this is great for gently taking off um, my eye makeup. I really, really like it. Um, so I'll start by taking, um, you know, putting it on my eyes to take my eye makeup off. And then if I've got anything left over, then I'll kind of, you know, smooth it into my skin and, and break down my, uh, like my foundation and stuff as well, my face products. I really, really like this. And I probably, um, I probably will go ahead and purchase this again in the future when this is finished. Um, because I, yeah, like I said, I really like it and it's it's gentle enough that I don't feel um, uncomfortable using it even with my different skin issues that I'm having. Okay guys, two more products and then we will be done with this update. The first one is the Clean Reserve Suede Ode and this was a perfume sample that I told you I was waiting until the fall to start using. So, here's where I am. You can see I did use it just a bit. It's a little more than halfway done. And I um, I feel confident that I can start to use this again. I, um, I am hopeful that I'll be able to go ahead and finish this up this month um, or before the next update, I should say, because uh, there's only a couple of days left in this month. But um, yeah, I feel confident that I can use this up in the next month and go ahead and add another one to my empties. I really like that, but again, that was something that I just wasn't comfortable adding one more thing in when I was having so much sensitivity. The last item to share with you guys is the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. This was, um, I put this in this project for the prompt throwing shade and my goal was to use every shade in this palette. It was a brand new palette when we first started this project and I didn't want to use up this palette but I did want to hit every single shade in this palette. Let me show you guys where I am now. So some of these, it's easy to tell what I've used. So like this one, you know, you can see there's wear around the uh, around the actual pan of it. So you can tell that I've used that one. You can tell I've used this one. I've used this one as well. Um, some of these, like these two right here, are not as easy to see that I've used them, but I have used all of those. So I've used all of them in this row. I've used all of them in this row, and I have used all of them in this row. I think I've only used these two once, and then I think I've used these two once as well. Um, I have used this really, really bright shade, which is um, the one that I was most scared of initially. I have also used this shade here, which is Sea Stars. So I am down to one shade, y'all. This shade, Late Night, is the only shade that I have not used in this palette. So 
I am making it my goal for this month to incorporate this shade into some look somehow. And then I will be able to consider this prompt or this palette done for this particular challenge. So guys, I mentioned that I needed to share with you all the details of this project and that's because I'm super out of, you know, I, I'm out of practice with <laughs> with introing for a project pan video. Duh. I didn't tell you anything about it except that it was Throwback 30 and Jessica created it. So, Throwback 30 is a project that was created by our fearless leader, Jessica Lee. Um, she took 30 of the prompts from existing and past project pans and she put them all into one project. And the reason for that is because there are so many projects going on constantly that you know you really have to pick and choose and it's hard because you want to participate in every one but you simply cannot. I mean, you can only put so much makeup on your face every single day, right? And you can only use so much skincare every single day. So she picked 30 prompts from current and previous projects and she put them all into this one project. And the dates of the project are May 16th of last year to May 16th of this year. And spoiler alert, she already mentioned in her, I think it was this month, her update video that we um, they are bringing it back uh, when this one finishes in May. So I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on and really, you know, see if I've got 30 products that I can work on um, that I think that I can finish up. Um, and also, I guess I kind of have to wait for the prompts as well. So uh, anyways, guys, those are the details. I will leave Jessica's channel link down below. I will also leave the link to all of the participants of this project down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying these videos that I've been posting lately. Um, thank you so much for your kind words. Everyone has been really nice and really patient and so welcoming back to me. Um, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.